Nowadays, nothing really is Precisely. Only one of me and nobody like me Phone ringing and I tell him it's Precisely. I got wifey, you on bling she Hi guys, oh my god, it's been so long Okay, no it hasn't No it has No no, but it has. So this video is basically just going to be like a little rundown of my, my holiday. My holla, holla, holla. I just came up from Mykonos. It was so fun. Went there for Crystal's birthday. It was all with all our American girls. And then we met their friends. They had some friends over and they were super cool. They had like mad itinerary. We was on yachts. We was doing this. We was drinking champagne. We was doing all sorts of great activities on the bill it was amazing okay yeah that was real birdie but no um yeah so it was such an amazing time so right now i'm literally just gonna take you through some of the things that i bought there because i didn't take my camera so i did not vlog for you guys i'm so sorry like forgive me but i did not vlog so the first perfume i purchased was the christian dior purple oud I'd actually um, smelt this the last time I was at Duty Free. And for some reason, I went with another perfume that just wasn't really my style. I don't know why I chose that perfume over this one. Because the other one was not that great. Okay, let me describe the scent to you. So it's like woody. It's quite masculine. I've really been like feeling masculine scents these days. Like, this is really, really my bag. The bottle's gorgeous. Um... It's an oud, so this one does last quite long. Some of the other ones I have, like the one I chose over this bad boy, doesn't really last. But luckily, I got that one in the smaller ML. This cost me at duty free. Two hours later. So that cost me two thirty, whereas if you were to buy it out of duty free later okay whereas this would have cost 315 directly from dior that's a big ass discount i'm suspicious one thing i always make sure i do at duty three free sorry is get a perfume and that actually helped me build my collection because i travel quite a lot and I always never want to turn, turn down the opportunity to get some perfume. So it just works hand in hand. Then, whilst I was there, can I just say, <clears throat> shopping in Mykonos is just an experience. When you go down to like that area, what's it called? That place, there's a place in Mykonos basically that's got all the designer stores. I'm sure if you say to someone, take me to a designer store, they will take you to this place. They've got YSL, they've got Fendi, Burberry, LV, Dior, etc, etc. So whilst you were there, there was a boat cruise. So the bikinis I bought were just not boat cruise worthy. So you know your girls have to go get some Burberry bikinis and shit to look cute and shit. You know what I'm saying? So I'll show you this. So we went to Burberry. This is the first place we went on our trip. We got <laughs> the bucket hat. And then we got the matching bikini. You know the vibes. So the thing with bikini purchases to me, I've never really thought, yeah, it makes sense to spend £300 on a bikini because it kind of doesn't. It doesn't. Obviously, my memory is bad, so I will tell you how much each item cost. The Burberry Mata Minkini was €300. Euros. And the Burberry bucket hat was 290 euros. So yeah, I don't remember shit. So um, would I say it was a good purchase? Um, no, but, no, I wouldn't. I wouldn't say yeah. Spend 300 pounds on a bikini, but the hat, of course, I'm a hat person. Sometimes I like to be a tomboy, so I know I'll wear the hat again and again and again and again and again. And again, and again, and again. Um, so yes. When we got there, as I told told you guys, the experience is just insane. 
so you want to spend like you don't go there because you will spend because it's crazy because it just looks so good there like it's just so you see how like in london everything's just like kind of puts you off it's just like a lot on your eyes it's very heavy on the eyes it's not over there the next thing i bought was these beautiful beautiful glasses beautiful right so to me i just don't have this style of glasses this kind of officer what do you call this i'm not really good with names of things but i've been knowing things so i got this beautiful shape but i just thought these were absolutely fucking gorgeous um apparently these are 18k plated plated um shades but if you just take a look at this and the brim i don't know if you guys can see this it's got this really subtle detailing so you'd have to be looking mad close so no, that it's LV, real subtle, real classy vibes, you know. And then it, on the top, it's got the, okay, you guys are not going to be able to see this. <laughs> but yeah, at the top, it says Louis Vuitton. Yeah, so this is what they look like on. Wee, 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 like a cup car. Wee, wee, wee. These are real bougie shades. These cost five ninety and they deserve to be 590 like i'd say 590 was a bit much for glasses but i just think they're so beautiful like the, the the gold that they used is so like striking and just very like nice and like luxury the small small detailing is amazing i'm gonna wear these and take these on every single trip and because they cost so much i will wear them every single time the sun is out no one can tell me nothing okay right yeah so that was them and then the last thing i bought in mykonos summer essential it's not a summer essential because really and truly the way um dior slides would be the way to go because i could probably wear them more but i feel like i've got the the basics the classics i've got the hermes oran in black white chanel in like a nude and i do want the orans in brown so hopefully i get them i'll even give you kind of like a uh a haul on on some good summer um luxury sandals and stuff like that but i'll show you these these are very different and as i said guys my style my taste is very unusual but here they are to me they're gorgeous like they're like they're just cute man like it's not every day that i want to wear orans or something fancy or like a sandal sometimes i need like a cross between the trainer and the sandal Sometimes I want to wear something with joggers or something with jeans. I just feel like the Oranzo or, or just any other sandals are doing a bit much. So I do like to occasionally get shoes, sandals like this. It's got really cute detailing at the back. At the bottom it says Dior here. And then up here it says Christian Dior. You've got their new season print. Which is another risky thing to buy. I know because the prints are seasonal but yeah we just pray that god keeps replenishing my pockets um i also like something comfortable and when i tried them on they were like they're like squidgy real comfortable i'm sure these are for like the older audience <laughs> but i just thought they were really cool and when i drop them you guys might change your mind so these are called the toilet de joy p toilet de joy p in deep blue these were 850 euros, which translate about probably 810 pounds. So the next perfume that I bought was Tobacco So basically I'm building my collection of the Christian Dior perfumes. This is the fifth one that I now own. Um, I've started getting the larger size because it's just more value for money. I think there's like a 40 pound difference and like it's like 100 ml more that could have been exaggerated or undervalued i'm not sure but i just found that it made no sense buying the smaller one because especially if you like it and, um this i like this smells like tobacco that was rolled in flowers and dipped in syrup yeah no honestly it smells like Tobacco that was rolled in flowers and dipped in syrup. And when you smell this, you're going to be like, wow. It does smell like tobacco that was rolled in flowers and dipped in syrup. It's like 
I can't explain it, but it's like real manly, real kind of um, masculine, but very sweet at the same time. That's why I said tobacco wrapped in, yeah, all of that. But this I would highly recommend. It smells so good. It just, you know, you always have, there's that, always that guy that you've dated that you just remember what he smells like. And this is one of those fragrances that you will remember when, like, you'll meet someone else wearing this and you'll be like, you smell like someone that I met before. And it's just kind of got one of those memorable smells. The only thing I will say about Christian Dior's perfumes is that they do not really last all day. I'm not gonna lie. And they also give you like a really, really small um, um, perfume to go with it. So the experience obviously in the actual Dior in Mykonos like the perfume scent is extremely different to what you'll experience in duty free of course um but I, I don't know the price difference probably makes up for it but um yeah no they honestly they wrap up your bag they 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 spray the top so you're like you remember them i guess and then they give you a mini mini version to take with you to put in your purse and they send you off on your way and they're very pleasant but yeah, I'm on my way to completing this collection. This is now number five, or well, four and five. When I get onto number six, I might do a perfume haul. But Jesus Christ, that would be a very long video, so I might have to do it in two parts. But let me know if you do want it, because I'll do it for you. I love you guys that much. I'll do it for you. Um, Yeah, I mean, let me know if you liked that video. It was just basically like a life update. I've not really spoken about my life, though, have I? I mean, okay. Um, well, I have a new boyfriend and he's actually coming over to London in a few days and I'm really excited to see him. Um, we're going to Barbados. He's going to take me shopping and shit. I'm going to vlog it. I'm going to do a day in the life with Poppy. Yeah, that's cringe. No, um, but he's coming. I'm excited. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm just recovering from my cold. Um, I'll probably make another video in the next few days. I'm going to try and be a bit more like this with you guys. I'm going to try and bring the heat you know you guys said you want the heat so i'm gonna try and bring the heat you know um and next time i'll try and look cute sorry i've not had a wig made i've just got back i'm ill so this area of my nose has disappeared but i'm, I'm trying for you guys you know but yeah if you like this video if you're enjoying this video if you like what you've seen so far please subscribe and honestly i'll give you guys what you want give you more nice perfume descriptions and shit you know um but yeah definitely i've got the shoe hauls coming heel hauls i can do that train hauls i can do that vlogs i can do that whatever you guys want to see just let me know um uh, yeah thanks guys it was so nice speaking to you guys i'll catch up with you guys later